Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening and welcome to the 57th annual High Brighton High School Commencement Ceremony. At this time, we applaud the alumni of High Brighton High School who are present at our ceremony today. Please stand if you are a former graduate of High Brighton High School. We applaud you. Thank you and welcome home. Seniors, parents, faculty, and staff, thank you for being here, and we hope you enjoy this special event. I do not know of another school that can equal the parental involvement that we are so fortunate to have here at High Brighton. Parents, we salute you for your dedication to your child's education. Now I would like to acknowledge some special guests that are with us tonight. We are honored to have Caldwell County School Board of Education members, Mr. Darrell Pennell, Chairman. <laughs> Ms. Ann Edwards. And we are also joined by Associate Superintendents Dr. Katrina McAllen and Dr. Bill Griffin. I would like to personally thank Mr. David Colwell, former principal at High Brighton High School, for being the ultimate teacher and leader. Thank you for your love, support, and dedication to High Brighton High School. Our student council has been instrumental in advising me throughout the past three years. It's been a joy to work with you guys. I would like to introduce senior class president Ansley Norris, vice president Holden Lawing, secretary Maisie Wakefield, and treasurers Peyton Horton and Abigail Williams. At this time, I would like to ask the family of Kyler Shanks to come forward and join us on stage. The class of 2023 dedicates this year's commencement exercise to the memory of their classmate, Kyler Shanks, who would have been graduating with us today. Kyler was the most gentle and giving soul. He gave so much joy and love to anyone that had the good fortune to meet him. He was always helping others with his selfless acts of kindness, and he had the ability to only see good in people. There's not a day that goes by that he isn't missed. We've placed a chair in front of the stage in memory of their fellow classmate and your son. We would like to present to you, if you'll come up on stage, an honorary diploma to you and your family. Please know that Kyler will forever remain in our hearts, which makes him a huge part of the future. His name will also be etched in the bricks of the Fallen Panther Memorial in our senior courtyard. Thank you for being here with us today. Welcome to graduation 2023. Each year, senior class officers discuss their ideas for gifts with administration, counselors, and our entire senior advisory to determine the most impactful gift to sincerely represent the entire class. At this time, we would like to present the class of 2023's class gift. We are donating $500 to 988, which is the suicide hotline, in memory of our classmate, Kyler Shanks. We hope this gift will help others become more aware of the signs of mental health issues and suicide awareness. 
Education and awareness are key in helping individuals fight their battles with these issues. We are thankful for the opportunity to give back in such a special way to our campus and to our community as the class of 2023. Thank you. Now please observe with honor as Miss Tony Carlton sings our national anthem. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glow, the bombs bursting in our gay proof through the night that our flag was still. Thank you, Ms. Carlton. If you have served or are currently serving in any branch of the United States Armed Forces, please stand at this time. We salute you for your service. Thank you. The following students have enlisted or will be enlisting in one of our branches of the United States military. Please stand and face the audience when I call your name. Josiah Honor, United States Air Force. Charles Barnett, United States Air Force. Thank you for volunteering to serve our country. At this time, I would like to recognize our junior marshals. These students are ranked in the top 10 of the junior class and have worked hard to prepare many special events for the seniors. Please stand as I call your name. Ammon Blanton, Addison Dillard, Tristan Evans, Paige Grimbeek, Caden Ingram, Hadley Nichols, Madeline Reed, Tyler Roberts, Kendall Triplett, Benjamin Wachter, Ashton Weinbarger, and Madeline Wright. Thank you. I have asked Peyton Horton, son of Tabitha West and Charles Horton, to read my farewell letter to the class of 2023. Peyton has served High Brighton High School as a football player, senior class co-treasurer. He has been a successful leader at Camp Enterprise and our early childhood education program where he goes to elementary schools and tutors students. His humility, and kindness are easily observed in all that he does. Please help me welcome Peyton Horton to the stage. Can everybody hear me okay? All right. Dear class of 2023, I heard my father-in-law say something 15 years ago that I still remember every day. He said, the grass isn't greener on the other side, it's greener where you water it. 
I love this message because it tells me that I am going to get out of life what I put into it. I want to charge you with the following. Exercise discipline and hard work in your lives. Many of you probably feel that I am too hard on you at times. I am too strict and I am too much of a disciplinarian. I am that way because I have learned that with discipline you can succeed. And without discipline, boundaries, and structure, there is no path to success. Nothing worth having comes easy. Steve Harvey says, in success, there is no elevator to the top. You have to take the stairs. You must work to create the life that brings you fulfillment and happiness. Even when you are disciplined and hardworking, you are still faced with challenges. When I am going through a difficult time, I lean on experienced people who I respect and admire. Kobe Bryant was asked where he went for guidance in the NBA, and he said, I went to the Goat Mountain and spoke to the greats, Michael, Magic, Bird, Hakeem Olajuwon, Jerry West, Oscar Robinson, and Bill, Bill Russell. He went to those whom he revered and honored. Jared Wright, Maddie Wright, Donna uh, Silhouette, Dana Triplett, Charles Wright, Glenda Wright, Sandra Silhouette, Danette Landrum, and David Colwell are my goats. Who are yours? This week, Lionel Richie said to EM on American Idol, we just watched the village that raised you celebrate you. Today, the Panther Village that raises you celebrates you. Don't forget to water your grass. With love, Miss Wright. of 2023 voted for the individuals giving speeches tonight. Our first speaker is Madison Hollingsworth. She is the daughter of Charmin and Misha Hollingsworth. Madison will attend North Carolina State University in the fall to major in biology. Please welcome Madison to the stage. class of 2023, administrators, faculty, and loved ones. I would like to thank our teachers, principals, and other school faculty members. I am truly honored to be standing here in front of this intelligent, tenacious, and hardworking class of Panthers. Before I begin, I would like to tell you a little about myself. Many of you know me as the loud, the quiet but loud one, or the one who's always smiling, or the one with the best dad jokes. I'd like to talk to three groups of people. The teachers here at High Brighton, the students leaving High Brighton, and the parents of those here. To the parents of this class, I feel like I should talk with you first because you put up with us the longest. You should be commended for your dedication. We'll never realize the amount you gave up for us until we're sitting where you're sitting and our children occupy our seats. Thank you for being there for our good times and more importantly, our not so good times. Thank you for being there for us now and for being there for us later on as we continue to need your loving support and wisdom. To the teachers of High Brighton High School, thank you for going the extra mile for us and becoming a part of our support systems. Thank you for being a shoulder to cry on and a person we could call on when we thought that all hope was lost. When our mental health was down, you lifted us up and we are forever grateful for that. From being unsure that we would survive your class on the first day to, and I quote, busting it down on the dance floor with us at prom, made us realize how much of an impact you had on all of us. One of the crown jewels of my life is the High Brighton High School band program. I met Mr. Suits my eighth grade year, and he could already tell that I was passionate about music. He welcomed me with open arms and pushed me to become the musician I am today. I still remember my first football game. As I walked up to the stadium, I was expecting to play some killer stand tunes with the band, but unfortunately, my mouthpiece broke. I looked to Mr. Suits as he was conducting the national anthem, and the astonishment on my face said everything. He could already tell that I was afraid, and I was beginning to get inside of my head, but all he mouthed was, keep going. This experience taught me that no matter the hardship, if you keep going, you can overcome any obstacle. This is the same message that I would like to relate to all of us tonight. And last, but certainly not least, the soon-to-be graduates of High Brighton High School. The years 2019 through 2023 have been a blessing and also a curse. During COVID, we lost opportunities, some lost their homes, jobs, and even loved ones in a span of a couple months while being forced to stay indoors with our thoughts, and it was hard and mentally exhausting. 
Throughout that time, we coped by picking up a new hobby, such as making art pieces or making jewelry or making a new TikTok dance that we hoped one day would go viral. It amazes me how the same individuals that I'm talking to here today, sitting right in front of me, ready to step into the next chapter of their lives, still fighting on the battlefield. We were hit with this life-altering event before we even had the chance to put up our armor, and it was perplexing. But the same tenacious mentality we had throughout the entire pandemic to keep pushing and grinding is the same mentality that we will need when we enter the real world. Graduation is one of the most critical parts of life because it fills up the empty chapter in our book of life so it can stay with us forever as a memory and so much more. This evening is not only about graduation, but it is about recognizing accomplishments from the past and commencing further, no matter how much the struggle. We have just barely begun the trip of a roller coaster of life, and already it seems like we've had quite the ride. Some of us will go to college, some of us will enter the workforce, and most of us are still undecided. But whichever path we take, it won't be easy. And maybe a year or two from now, we might be wishing we were back at good old high riding high school because the term nine to five is going to take on a whole new meaning. And I have a feeling that it isn't going to be pretty, folks. While the last four years of High Brighton was filled with friends, classes, teachers, and work, there were also tiny inspirations hiding in plain sight. In those moments, we were too busy or too distracted to notice them. As we take a retrospective look at our high school years, I hope we will all see them clearly now. The road that lies ahead will not be easy. There will be obstacles and missed exits, potholes and roadblocks. There will be times when each of us feel like we cannot possibly go on. There will be times when each of us will think we are alone with our backs against a wall. But we are not alone. We are all on this journey together. We have made it this far. Why should we back out now? Nothing worthwhile is easy, and that includes making the most of our futures. But that doesn't mean we give up on ourselves. We will keep pushing. After all, we know we can achieve our dreams because we are worth it, and we are Panthers. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2023. first take this opportunity to thank the class of 2023 for allowing me to be a part of such a grand occasion on today and as I was sitting there thinking about the song that I am going to sing now I thought in what good way could you honor the memory of Kyler Shanks by becoming involved in the song that I'm gonna sing? Because everybody knows the song. And if Kyler were here, you can believe he would be dancing around at his seat right now when I sing this song. I had, I had the most grand opportunity to teach Kyler in sixth grade, sixth grade science. And, he will be dearly, dearly missed. So I wanted to let you guys know that life is going to give you some pains. Life is going to give you some sorrows. But just always know that you can lean on me. Small technical difficulty.
Okay, at our awards ceremony for seniors, remember I told you it's okay to go off script? Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go off script for just a minute. Hopefully we can get this straightened out. It's now my pleasure to present to you the next speakers for our graduating, graduation ceremony. Our male speakers are Miguel Garcia Franquis and Holden Lawing. Miguel is the son of Miguel Garcia Cochado and Mara Cruz Franquis Monsalvo. He will be attending North Carolina State University in the fall where he plans to major in engineering. Holden is the son of Becca and Hal Lawing, and he also plans to attend North Carolina State University. I would like to welcome our faculty, alumni, friends, family, and distinguished guests. Me gustaría dar la bienvenida a los padres, hermanos, familia, y todos los invitados. My name is Miguel Garcia Franquis. I was born and raised in Caldwell County and a proud member of my Hispanic community. I am beyond thrilled to say that I will be a good night scholar at NC State. Throughout my years in high school, I was a part of Beta Club, Varsity Club, four years of varsity soccer, and much more. Although tonight is a night to celebrate us graduates, this accomplishment isn't simply just because of us. Nothing can be done alone. The family, friends, and faculty that have supported us through various manners all share a part of the hard work that has led us to this very moment. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to tell everyone present, thank you. To my parents, a simple thank you isn't enough. <clears throat> to my father, everyone talks about the American dream. The American dream is the idea of achieving success and prosperity through hard work, determination, and initiative while having complete freedom to believe in what one desires. My father immigrated here to America at the age of 16 in hopes of coming to a country where he had opportunities and had the possibilities of prospering. My father had no idea what life held for him here in America. He was a 16-year-old boy who had to sacrifice comfort and become an adult in order to survive in a foreign country that he had only heard stories of. Through various struggles, moments of desperation, and times of feeling alone, here stands his son speaking. To my mother, mothers get the worst of us sometimes. As a child, I used to be a handful for my mother. A circumstance I remember like it was last night was when my family left my church late one night. I somehow managed to get my hands on a blue flashing finger light. On our way home, I flashed the lights in the rear view mirror. My mother pulled over worryingly while everyone was laughing. She couldn't comprehend why. Once my mother got the gist, she yelled at me and th I thought I was going to get it once I got home. After a while, my mother laughed it off. It is now often recalled when talking about young, troublesome ago. Through my mischievous actions, my mother still showed me patience and love. A mother's love is unlike any other love we will ever experience. My mother is the reason as to who I am today. She is the one who taught me right and wrong, the one who showed me to become a person who was hospitable, and the one who demonstrated to me that no matter how impossible it seemed to make me be able to act right, she managed to do it through love and patience. Para mi raza, to my people, I am privileged and honored to have the opportunity to stand in front of you all. I am not the first, and I hope to not be the last, to represent my Hispanic community. My people are known to be empowering, hardworking, and proud to show where they are from. My people's rich cultural heritage, strong work ethic, and immense contributions have greatly enriched our society. Mi raza has adopted many sayings that are commonly said through moments of struggle. One saying that has become my motivation throughout times of struggle, and I will continue to live by is, si sí, se puede, or yes, you can. Through times where I felt as if everything was stacked against me, my parents, sisters, or friends were always there to remind me of, si sí, se puede. And now, to the high brain class of 2023, be present. Embrace the moment we are in, as you will never experience something like this ever again. Tonight is our night. We have reached one of the many goals we have put upon ourselves. A chapter in our lives is now coming to an end. Our years as high school students might have ended, but graduation is not just an end. It is a commencement. A commencement of a lifelong journey of learning, growth, self-discovery. Our time here has laid the foundation for a lifetime full of success, but it is important to remember that success is not solely measured by material possessions. Although fortune is at the top of our minds when thinking of success, true success lies in the impact we have on the lives of others, the relationships we build, and the legacy we leave behind. As a class, we did not come this far simply to get this far. We are all destined for greatness. We have all grown into powerful, intellectual individuals who will without a doubt leave an impact wherever our life leads us. 
Our goal should be to inspire. Inspire others to work as hard as you have. Inspire others to be as caring as you are. Inspire others to spread love when all you receive is hate. Remember, no matter how successful you will become, you will still receive hate and people will still try to bring you down. Most importantly, to those who support you, hold them close. Things will get tough and there will be a point where you feel that it is not possible. Nobody can do it by themselves. Not even Jesus carried his cross alone. I ask the graduates to take with them what I have learned from my father, mother, and my people. As my father, prepare to be willing to step out of our comfort zones, take risks, and persist in the face of adversity. Remember, it is often in moments of uncertainty that our true potential shines through. As my mother, have patience upon times of difficulty and show love to those around you. As mi raza, take pride in who you are and embrace your roots. A todos los familiares que están aquí, de parte de la clase de 2023, les quisiera decir gracias por apoyar a sus hijos en la lucha de cada día. Aunque algunas veces nosotros hijos les hacemos batallar, siempre agradecemos su apoyo y cariño. También quisiera decirle a mis compañeros que van a graduarse, que nos enfoquemos en estudiar, trabajar y seguir echándole ganas porque nosotros somos la esperanza y el sueño en nuestros hogares. Debemos inspirar a los que vienen después de nosotros para que así podamos sacar adelante a nuestra gente, comunidad y familia. So, my fellow graduates, as we bid farewell to the familiar campus that has become our second home, let us carry with us the memories, the friendships, and the lessons learned. Let us embrace the future with open hearts and open minds, confident in the knowledge that we have what it takes to shape the world for a better. Congratulations, High Brains Class of 2023. The world is waiting for us. Let us go out there and create the future each one of us desires to have. Thank you, and may our journey be filled with success, joy, and endless possibilities. Mama y papa, we did it. Before I begin my speech, I would just like to take a moment for our graduates to turn around and look behind you. That's the reason we're all here. That's the reason we made it to this day. All right. Thank you, administrators, teachers, families, and graduates who have made this day possible, especially Ms. Bryant and Ms. Lipford who have worked tirelessly to get us here. I know we haven't made it easy, but you've made it all worth it. I would also like to thank the people who helped me put this speech together, my mom, Ms. Woods, and Dr. Josh Hughes. And I would like to dedicate this speech to my grandparents who aren't able to see me here today. Today marks an important milestone in our lives. After years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice, we are now ready to embark on a new journey. A journey that will take us to new heights, new challenges, and new opportunities. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, let us look to the future that lies ahead of us. The future is an exciting place, full of endless possibilities. It is a place where we can shape our own destiny, where we can make our dreams come true. <clears throat> and most importantly, where we can make a difference in the world. Perhaps you could be the one to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease, or you could become the next Tiger Woods. Perhaps you could join the technological revolution in Silicon Valley, or become the next Meryl Streep. Perhaps you could be the next extraordinary entrepreneur, or maybe become the next Alex Martin. No matter what, <laughs> no matter what, the future is ours for the taking. However, the future can also be daunting as it is full of uncertainties and challenges that we may be unprepared to face. Some of us have had our, had our entire futures planned out for years, while others of us don't know what we're gonna have for breakfast tomorrow, much less what we're gonna do for the rest of our lives. I confess that I have no idea what I'm going to do as a career, but I do know how I want to live into the future, and I challenge you, my fellow graduates, to join me on this endeavor. I want to live a meaningful life that is marked by kindness and service to others. In a world of self-gratification and arrogance, being kind is exceedingly rare. 
I would like to provide some examples of kindness. In my sophomore year, while the pandemic raged, everyone wore masks and we told, were told to socially distance or else. There were two people that really showed me kindness. After golf practice, Matthew Land, whom I would consider my best friend, would invite me over to his house. And in that lonely time, we would spend hours hanging out, just being present with one another. We walked through this difficult experience together. <laughs> At the end of the same year, I just finished an exam and Ansley Norris asked if I just wanted to go get something to eat at cookout. I accepted the invitation and we just sat and talked. It was the first time in a long time that I'd been able to do that. And this was a point in my life to where I wouldn't consider many people my friends. She showed me kindness that others hadn't. Their friendship made a significant difference in my life and my high school experience. My fellow graduates, I challenge you to live like that, to be that person for someone else when no one else will. Maybe you just say a kind word to someone on the street and light a fire under them. Maybe you can put your arm around someone else when they're walking through a difficult point in their life. Maybe you can give your time, your talents, or even money to make a difference in someone else's life. Who knows what impact your kindness can make, but what if it makes all the difference in the world? What if your actions lead someone else to act similarly? What if that person then does the same thing for someone else? Then your one act of kindness has impacted dozens, even hundreds of people, and perhaps changed the world for the better. I believe that there are many thing wrong, things wrong in this world, but kindness is not one of them. In fact, kindness is never wrong. When I am on my deathbed, I don't want to look back and see the money I have made or the accomplishment, the things I have accomplished as the highlights of my life. I want to be able to and look back and know that the, I lived a life that is full and full of kindness. And instead of seeing material things, I want to see people, people whose lives have benefited from the kindness I have shown them. If we all live like that, then our graduating class will indeed impact the future that stands before us now. In conclusion, the future is a blank canvas waiting for us to paint our own masterpieces. It is up to us to decide whether we it is up to us to decide what kind of future we want to create. We can choose to be passive bystanders or we can choose to be active participants. And I hope and pray that we choose the latter. Let us step into the future with confidence, with purpose, and with determination. Let us make our mark on the world and let us make it a better, a better place for all by the kindness we show from our hearts. And I leave you with a quote from Maya Angelou. At the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or what you did, but they will remember how you made them feel. Congratulations, fellow graduates, and good luck on your journey ahead. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you. Now we're gonna get this rolling, so if you know this song, stand up and sing along with me.
she's class of 2023. Y'all didn't know y'all gonna shake y'all thing now, didn't you? That's how we do it here at High Brighton High School. <laughs> Before we begin awarding diplomas, our students and faculty have a few requests. Please hold all applauses until all names have been called. Since this is a formal ceremony, we ask that you do not shout as your graduate is being recognized. Every family deserves the opportunity to hear their graduate's name called to receive their diploma. When you shout and yell, you prevent the next graduate and their family from hearing their name called. In lieu of shouting, we ask the family of the graduate being recognized to stand as the graduate's name is called and remain standing as they walk across the stage. Seniors, please rise for the awarding of diplomas. Madison Amari Hollinsworth. Miguel Garcia Frankis. Holden Gibbs Lawing. Ansley Elizabeth Norris. Maisie Ray Wakefield. Peyton Isaiah Horton. Abigail Elizabeth Williams. Jake Thomas Absher. Eric Aaron Augustin Rivas. Emma Faith Andrews. Dylan Cole Armentrout. Amber Grace Baker. Laney Lynn Banks. Cody Houston Barlow. Caleb Michael Barnes. Carson Hass Barnes. Charles Richard Barnett. Braden Craig Biddicks. Gracie Lynn Bolick. Gabriel Brett Bollinger. Kaylin Dion Bowers. Eli Thomas Braswell. Farina Ninoska Rizuela Hernandez. Marissa Noel Bumgarner. Mackenzie Desiree Butler Scott. Sarah Elizabeth Carter. Edward Gerardo Castaneda Castillo. Elijah Hayden Church. Logan Brooks Clark. Emma Grace Coffey. Kevin Douglas Cole. Ashlyn Morelli Calendris. Bryce Peyton Collins. Ian Cole Cook.
Zachary Bowman Crow. Electra Delchery. Patience to Leah Davidson. Rylan Michael Davidson. Anna Elizabeth DeBev. Hugo Scott Dominguez Martinez. Kayla Page Dover. Antonio Kevon Dula. Jackson Avery Eldreth. Emily Danielle Elliott. Dylan Afeth Espana Diaz. Lexi Rochelle Farmer. Kaven DeAndre Ellis Felder. Katie Lynette Ferguson. Jacob Marshall Faust. Kaden Alexavier Franklin. Wilman Isaac Garcia Sushite. Charlotte Marie Gardner. Daniel Joseph Garnum. Jalen Michael Jenright. Jillian Adriana Noel Gibbs. William Chase Golden. Amanda Nicole Gonzalez. Haley Brooke Ghost. Victoria Leanne Nicole Green. Mia Caroline Green. Waylon Dean Greer. Gabriel Ralph Griffin. Angel Florencio Guerrero. Hakila Araceli Guerrero. William Thomas Hamilton Jr. Carrington Ray Haney. Najea Unique Haynes. Keyshawn Devon Hilton. Markel Demetrius Hilton. Zachary Landon Chase Hilton. Samuel Rocal Hernandez Mateo. Alexavier John Hilero. Carter Alexander Hinton. Joshua Lane Holt. Josiah Elijah Honor. Elizabeth Caroline Hofek. Jorian Thomas Howell. Elizabeth Jackson. 
Deontay Christopher Jacobs. Joseph Graham Johnson. Cassie Brooke Keller. Matthew Walton Land. Avril Grace Lee. Christian Alexander Lemus. Brian Solomon Lopez. Evan Douglas Martin. Riley Lauren McDonald. Lily Elizabeth McNabb. Allison Leanne McNeil. James Josue Mendoza. Dylan Juandre Michaud. Laban Terry Miller. Jeliana Sophia Miro. Adrena Kadesha Moore. Peyton Hunter Moose. Ashley Texera Bitar Morera. Andrew James Morrison. Syasia Amira Murphy. Peyton Isaiah Olive. Ali Isabella Oliver. Jocelyn Sky Oliver. Emma Hadley Osborne. Joseph Nathaniel Palmer. Cadence Denise Papagni. John Walter Patterson. Silas Kion Patterson. Tatiana Cheyenne Patterson. Isaiah Ryan Perkins. Caden Allen Porch. Kali Aaron Porch. Toria Lee Potit. Dante Christian Ray Ramsour. Layla Renee Redman. Emma Grace Reed. Alexis Jade Reynolds. Christian Jude Riddle. Jameson Locke Riddle. Xander Lane Ritchie. Gerardo Noe Rodriguez. Chloe Miranda Rotting. Shania Melise Sally. Tanaya Elizabeth Shives. Emma Caitlin Smith. Caden Neil Stewart. K. 
Katie, Elizabeth, Story. Kennedy, Reagan, Story. Natrevion, Taekwon, Surratt. Jude, Daniel, Suzelis. Jamin. Jamin, Ray Andrew, Tate. Soraya, Monet, Tate. Chase, Anthony, Trivet. Darian, Isaiah, Vaught. Thomas, Juan, Vaught. Dominic, Michael, Virgo. Madison, Avery, Voss. Tristan, Gage, Walker. Zoe, Ruth, Walker. Matthew, James, Warhurst. Carly, Michelle, Watson. Haley, Paige, Watson. Matthew, Lakin, Watson. Ross, Noel, Watts. Jonathan, Tyler, Webb. Mandy, Jaden, Wheeler. Sydney, Elise, Wyke. James, Berkeley, Willis. Addison, Mackenzie, Wilson. Kobe, Rayshawn, Wilson. Janaya, Shemaine, Louise, Wilson. Jamel, Lamar, Muhammad, Witherspoon. Connor, Douglas, Woodward. Brienne, Marie Worley. Chandler Franklin Wyke. Libby Zhu. Jairo Noel Zuninga Granadas. We have one last important part, the most important part, but I need for 10 seconds, because y'all been holding it in, all right? I need for 10 seconds to give these babies a round of applause. Give it up, give it up, give it up! Yeah, that's it. of 2023, please rise.
By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina and Caldwell County Schools, I declare you graduates of High Brighton High School. Congratulations. We will finish with our alma mater.